Hi, this is Mike's Man Cave, and today we'll be looking at my new general purpose fishing rod that I um, recently picked up. Okay, it's a Jarvis Walker Scorpion brand. It's a seven foot Terminator. Um, I liked it because it's got a heavy casting weight, 10 to 50 grams. Um, and that's because it's got a fairly solid heavy duty tip and um, the line class on this I recommend is 4 to 10 kilos and um, I love how they um, have a 4 to 10 kilo line class but all the lines they sell are rated in pounds anyway they call the medium action and the length is 2.15 meters which is seven foot. Okay, it's got a um, plastic combination metal type reel fitting, and it's got the um, little thing there to um, attach your hook, which I quite like. Quite like the finish on these. It's sort of a satin black finish with a yellow tip. Okay, it's a two-piece rod, so it makes it easy to transport. Um, I think I paid about $30 or thereabouts for it. I've had this for a little while and uh, I've never used it. I um, saw it, I liked it, and I bought it. So just yesterday, um, I went to the shops and I thought I'll get finally get a reel for it to set it up. And um, I ended up buying this. The Scorpion GT3650. There's also a 750, which is bigger. Now, I've already got the 750 reel that I use on one of my other rods. And um, I find that it's a little bit too big for um, a small rod like this one. Um, okay, it's designed for 12 and 15 pound line. So it's fairly light. Now 12 pounds, works out to be roughly um what is it about five and a half kilos 5.4 kilos and 15 pounds is roughly um just under seven kilos or so 6.8 kilos the only thing that i find a bit annoying um well it's not annoying that it comes with line on it but it doesn't tell you anywhere on the packet on um what strength line is on the reel so i'm going to get this out the box and i'm going to compare it to some um, fishing lines that i've got to try and work out what line we've um, got on that reel there so let's get it out of the packet and attach it to our rod and have a closer look at it now we're back i've taken the reel out of the packet I'm very happy with it and like I mentioned I've already got the larger model of these, the 750 that I'm using on one of my other rods, this is the 650. Um, these are a bargain really, it's got a stainless steel main shaft, only runs a single bearing but it seems to work really well. Um, I've used the 750 and it works really well. And um, these sell for $20 at Big W department store for this particular fishing reel. Now they had a 20% off sale on yesterday and um, I ended up getting this for $16. Um, you know, you can't even get a takeaway meal for $16 these days, so really it's a bargain, um, I think. And I'm pretty sure I'll get some good use out of it. I'll definitely get my $16 worth out of it. Uh, now I've compared it to some fishing line that I've got here and um, it appears there's 12 pound line on this reel comparing it to that one. It seems to be the exact same size as that fishing line there and it's nowhere near the size thickness gauge of the 15 pound so I'm assuming this will be 12 pound fishing line that come on the reel which I'm happy with. Um, and you know I was debating whether to use 12 or 15 pound line on my rod and um, it looks like 
Jarvis Walker has made that decision for me. So, um, I'll fit this up to the um, rod and we'll have a look at it on there. The reel has now been attached to the fishing rod and um, I'm pretty excited to um, try and take this out. I think my first um, trip I'll be taking it to the break wall to um, try it for some brim and some flatties to see what um, what we'll get. Um, I reckon this reel seems to be the perfect size for that rod. So it's a Jarvis Walker Scorpion GT3650 and it's a Jarvis Walker Scorpion fishing rod, the 7 inch, 7 foot Terminator model with a heavy tip. Um, yeah, the other thing that um, I've got here, I've brought my um, the same reel, Scorpion GT3750, which I use on my uh, beach slash rock fishing rod. Now, I think I'll be using this rod off the rocks as well, off the break wall, off the rocks. Um, it's a general purpose rod and I think I'll get a lot of use out of that. But let's compare the size of these reels. It's quite a big difference between the 650 and the 750. Now I've caught a few fish with this one and um, that's the reason I bought the smaller one the same make, their bargain. I paid $16 for that, they generally sell for um, $20, I paid $28 for that one um, and that's the full price, $28 complete with line. It's got 15 pound line on there, that's still the original line that it come with and um, it's perfect for um, fishing off the rocks or um, even on the beach. I might um, do another video just having a look at my rock fishing slash beach fishing. I know it sounds a bit odd combination but once we have a look at my rod we'll um, work out you'll see what I'm talking about. Let's put this aside and um, I'll do another video um, once I take this out and have a fish. Thanks for watching.